Here's a follow-up video to that Sawzall and then the wall texture video that I've been doing. I mean, I, I've just been doing this kind of all my leisure, you know. It's not like it's been something that I had to get done in a couple of days. If I did, and then it would, I would have stepped it up a little bit. So this is the wall right there. There's the damage area. You can kind of see a little bit difference in the texture, but it's not bad. There was a pressure crack that went from about an inch to down from the wall to about, I would say about maybe mid screen right there. You can see a little bit of the texture. Texture is a little bit different. Now I put it on with the roller and then I went to uh, the next thickest texture, which just Added a little bit of water to the joint compound, rolled it on there, waited for it to dry a little bit, and then hit the knock off on, or hit the knockdown on it. So when I finished up with the texture, I went through with the roller texture. You can see there's a little bit of the original knockdown. Then I went with the roller texture, and then I used a rag in there. You can see a little bit of that randomness from the rag. And that's why that's what you got to look that looks a little bit different it's not that the texturing is bad it's just a little bit of that rag i'll go back to the knock off knock down and then there's the there's a little bit of the random knock down and rag right there yeah so what it is is before you let it dry you hit it with the you hit it with the rag and you dab it in there and it give it a little bit more randomness if you want to do it that way. Now, like I said, I could have got a knockdown, knockdown gun and knocked that all down. But why would I want to do that? You know, that's just a repair. And from here, you don't really see the difference. This light's going to come out. I just need to find something that I like. I haven't really seen anything. I want to do more of an LED in this room. This is going to be a guest bedroom. We want, I want to turn this into the office, but, you know, I guess it makes sense. You know, she's thinking there's a bathroom down here. So if we have guests down here, they don't have to go upstairs. So I guess I'm cool with that. I have another area over here that I want to look at. This is going to be inside of a closet. There was another hole there. It hasn't dried all the way yet. It's the same method. See, so there's a little bit of the the knockdown that was there. I'm just going to make it a little bit rough. This wall is a little bit rough. This is going to be in a closet anyway. And after I get done painting it. I might, I might hit it with the wet sponge before I'm done too, just to, you know, make it lay just a little bit flatter. But yeah, so that's going to be that area right there. Same thing as that one back there. There, This one had a, a, a hole in the wall that I didn't see. And I saw it, so yeah, no big deal, so I fixed it. Like I said, it's just, I mean, from what I'm looking at, you really can't see the 3D to it. So after I get done sponging it, a lot of that hard edge right there will disappear. And then a lot of these bigger grooves, these bigger craters, these will go down. Now this one right here would be perfect for that roller method that I'm talking about, you know, just so you can get that kind of splatter effect. And I may want to do that, but you know, like I said, I'm going to sponge it and see what this is. Like I said, this is going to be a closet, so. You know, I want it to look good. I want it to look like there was no damage, you know, because that's what you're supposed to do, make it look like nothing ever happened. So, I don't know, maybe I'll quit being lazy and just uh, just make a batch and hit it real quick, you know. But I got it either way. I still got to wait for that to dry before I sponge it because I want to sponge all those hard edges off of it before I uh, before I splatter it. Because this is like I said, this texture right here is more of a roller splatter. So I can match that if I want to. I can match that pretty easy. So I just don't know if I want to. Like I said, there's just kind of a, a random this this one. This one I just put splats of joint compound on the wall, let it dry up a little bit, almost to where it's too hard, 
and then just start scraping it down. You're gonna have a little bit of a mess left over, but who cares? You're gonna fix. You're gonna pick it up anyway. So, yeah, I'm, I may splatter this one, just to you know, just to get a little bit more of that uh, that texture looks to it. It's real easy to do anyway. So, yeah, I can either splatter it with the roller, or I can just make a a mix and splatter it with a uh, uh, splatter with the rag. So anyway, just doing follow up.